The Hobart LXI wear washer is the most efficient, easiest to operate under counter wear washer on the market. Using the LXI dig machine saves you time, money, and results in sparkling clean dishware every time. During this program, you'll learn how to properly operate the LXI dish machine, including setup and proper rack loading. How to shut down the LXI and clean the unit when you have completed operation for the day. And how to perform minor maintenance procedures. Your company has invested in the Hobart LXI undercounter wear washer, the best in the industry. The LXI H is available for high temperature applications, while the LXI C is suitable for low temperature chemical sanitizing applications. The model LXI G glass washer is also available. Ask your supervisor what mode of operation is being used at your location. After installation, and before the LXI dish machine is used for the first time, it must be cleaned. Refer to the cleaning section of the instruction manual for proper procedures. Before each day's operation, make sure the coarse and fine scrap strainers are in place and free of debris. They are located inside the wash compartment just in front of the machine's lower wash arm. Next, Check the upper and lower wash arms to make sure they spin freely and the nozzles are not clogged. Occasionally, debris may become wedged in a wash arm nozzle. This will block the flow of water through the wash arm and result in improper dish cleaning. If an upper or lower wash arm nozzle becomes clogged, it must be removed for proper cleaning. To remove the upper or lower wash arms in the dish machine, Unscrew the knurled knob located at the center of the wash arm and remove it. Gently remove the wash arm off the shaft. Make sure you have a firm grasp on the upper wash arm as the knurled knob is removed. Then take the wash arms to a sink. With a toothpick or some other dull pointed object, push the nozzle obstruction into the wash arm. Run water through the wash arms until debris is washed out. Reinstall the wash and rinse arms and the knurled knob in the LXI wash compartment. Once the knurled knob is tight, make sure the wash arms spin freely. The LXI dish machine is now ready for daily operation. Loading dish racks is one of the most important factors in cleaning dishware properly. Let's take a few minutes to examine proper rack loading. There are several types of dish racks which are used with the LXI dish machine. Always select the correct rack for the items you are washing. To wash dishes, use a peg rack to stand plates and dishes on edge with the flat surface facing it. Never stack plates on top of each other in the peg rack. Water and detergent must flow evenly over each part of the dish to ensure complete cleaning. When sliding the finished peg rack into the dish machine, remember that the soil portion of the dish should face the entrance of the dish machine. This ensures the dirtiest part of the dish receives the greatest flow of water and detergent as it is washed and rinsed. And don't stack racks on top of each other, just one at a time. Scatter silverware loosely in a flat bottom dish rack or place it in a silverware basket. The best result Soak the silverware in a soaked sink before running it through the dish machine. Optional open type and compartment type dish racks are used for glasses, bowls, and cups. Always load glasses, bowls, or cups with the open end facing down towards the bottom of the dish rack. Loading these items properly ensures that they will be thoroughly cleaned and won't collect water in the dishwashing cycle. Finally, when the rinse cycle is complete, allow dish racks to sit for a few minutes to flash dry before storing them. The heat transfer to the dishware from the rinse water actually helps the dishware dry. The LXI undercounter wear washer is one of the easiest dish machines to operate. Its simple procedures and digital readouts 
provide high production dishwashing in a short period of time. The LXI is equipped with an electronic digital display that shows machine status or mode, water temperature, drain, fill, or temperature probe errors, and when a D-line cycle is needed. The display will be referred to throughout this program. To begin washing dishes with a Hobart LXI, first press the on switch located on the control panel. The display shows the model number of the dish machine as it performs a 5 to 10 second self-check. When the self-check is completed, the dishwasher will fill with water as indicated by the display. If the door is open during the fill cycle, the filling operation will stop. When the door is closed again, the process will continue where it was stopped. Once filled, the machine's pump will activate for about 10 seconds. On the LXI-H, for high temperature dishwashing, the fill light will flash while the booster heater is preheating. The preheat takes about 8 minutes. When the machine is full and the temperature correct, you are now ready to wash dishes. Open the LXI door and slide a loaded rack of dishware into the wear water. Add detergent, then close the door. Note, detergent must be a commercial grade. Residential cleaner is not acceptable. If your LXI is equipped with an automatic detergent dispenser, make sure the detergent rinse aid and sanitizer containers have product in them. If the LXI senses the containers are empty, you'll be alerted with a short beep and the words, add detergent, add rinse aid, or add sanitizer will be displayed. Press the wash button and the LXI begins the wash cycle. The digital display indicates the wash cycle and displays the wash water temperature. Wash water temperature for high temperature dishwashing should be 150 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. If the door is open during the wash cycle, the cycle will restart from the beginning when the door is closed. When the machine begins rinsing the dishware, the display indicates the rinse cycle and the rinse water temperature. Rinse water temperature in high temperature dishwashers should be a minimum of 180 degrees Fahrenheit. If the door is open during the rinse or drain cycle, the cycle will continue at the point it was interrupted when the door is closed. If the off button is pressed during the wash or rinse cycles, the machine will drain and power down. When the rinse cycle is complete, reload the machine for the next wash and rinse cycle. If the machine is not in use, it maintains a ready mode until the power is turned off. At the end of the day, press the off button. The machine water tank will drain and power will shut off. The LXI dish machine should be cleaned at the end of each working shift or at least once each work day. To begin the procedure, Press the off button on the control panel of the machine. The machine will drain and power down. When the display is no longer lit, open the door and remove any debris from the bottom of the tank. Now remove the upper and lower wash and rinse arms. Unscrew the knurled knob located at the center of the wash and rinse arm assembly and remove it. Gently remove the assembly from the shaft. Next. Remove the coarse and fine scrap strainers from their location in front of the lower wash arm. Take the wash arm and rinse arms and strainers to a sink. Examine the wash arm nozzles for clogs and clean them as described earlier. Then thoroughly clean the wash arms and strainers using warm soapy water and a soft dish rag. With a damp cloth, wipe the interior of the machine including the water level probes toward the rear of the wash compartment and the water level probe under the fine strainer. Note, a non-metallic scrubbing pad may also be needed to remove film and residue from the probes. Also, wipe the lip at the bottom of the machine door. Do not use steel wool or any abrasive cleaners when cleaning the interior of the machine or the water level probe. Then, with your soft, damp cloth, wipe down the exterior of the machine, 
including the control keypad and display. Finally, replace the watch arms and wrench arms and make sure they spin freely. Then replace the coarse strainer and the fine strainer. Keep the door ajar overnight to allow the interior compartment to air out and dry. The LXI disc machine requires periodic maintenance to avoid future problems and ensure trouble-free operation. The LXI requires occasional deliming depending on the mineral content in the water supply. Deliming should be completed when D-line flashes on the display or when signs of lime deposits, a light chalky substance, shows on the inside walls of the disc machine and on the wash and rinse arms. When deliming is necessary, a deliming agent should be used for best results. Warning, deliming solution, rinse agents, or any other kind of acid must not come in contact with bleach or rinse solution containing bleach used in chemical sanitizing machines. Mixing may cause hazardous gas to form. This entire procedure must be followed step by step for safe and satisfactory results. To deline the LXI, first remove the standpipe assemblies from the detergent containers and place them as close to the floor as possible. Place a pan under them to catch any runoff from the pipes. Then cycle the machine four times to clear the lines of remaining chemicals. Once the fourth cycle is complete, remove the dish rack from the machine and carefully following the manufacturer's instructions. Add the delining agent to the dish machine's tank. Now close the door and press the wash deline button. The machine will go through a five minute cycle, finishing with a rinse. Once the machine has finished cycling, it will drain the tank and shut itself down. Once complete, inspect the machine's interior for remaining lime deposits. If additional deposits are found, Repeat the procedure just described. One, remove rack, close door, press off. Two, press and hold wash D-line and on for three seconds. The unit fills, then indicates add D-line. Three, open the door and add D-line agent per supplier instructions for a three-gallon tank. Four, Close the door and press the wash D-line key. Pump runs for five minutes, followed by two rinse and drain cycles. The machine will automatically cycle off. Five, inspect the interior and repeat steps two through four if necessary. Note, a D-line cycle interruption will require it to be restarted from step one. Note, these same instructions can be found on the sticker located at the lower right of the machine. The Hobart LXI provides a lifetime of useful service if used and maintained properly. This concludes operator training on the Hobart LXI disc machine. Please refer to your instruction manual if you have any additional questions regarding the use or operation of this machine, or call your local Hobart office.